All right, welcome to Whiskey Bonded. I'm Conrad. Today we're going to talk about whether you should buy whiskey from online sellers, or any alcohol for that matter. The answer is basically no, but there are a few exceptions. All right, so everybody knows that there's a lot of different ways that you can get your alcohol. Uh, you can get them from local sellers, big chain stores like Total Wine, Costco, Safeway, um, or you can get them from online sellers. Now, we're not going to talk about the irreputable sellers today. We're going to talk about the, the reputable websites that actually do sell product and ship it to you, and there's no scams involved. So why do I say that you shouldn't buy from online sellers in general? And I will talk about why there are exceptions. I mean, obviously, by the end of this video, we're going to do an unboxing of something that I bought online, and I'll tell you why I bought it. But I wish somebody would have gone over with me when I first got into whiskey as to what the deal was with the online sellers and trying to come up with different types of bottles. So for me, the example was a Weller Special Reserve. So when I got first got into whiskey, um, I wanted to get a Weller product. Uh, somebody had introduced it to me at a bar, um, actually a wine distributor, uh, by coincidence, a guy that worked for Opus One had introduced me to Weller. I said, you ever heard of Weller? And he bought me a glass and it was great. And then I started digging and I'm like, I got to get a hold of one of these things. So I couldn't find one locally. So I ordered one online from a website. I paid a $69.99 for it, uh, plus the shipping. So it ended up being probably 80 or $90, way too much for that bottle. Uh, at the time, I was glad to have it. But after doing a little more looking, I found out that I could get it from a local um, liquor store, a guy that really likes Buffalo Trace products, sells a lot of stuff, and he has it pretty regularly for a more reasonable $49. Still not what you can get in some places, but something that I'm willing to pay for it to have some around. Um, definitely better than what I paid for it originally. As another example, that same website sells Eagle Rare for $99 plus shipping. Now that's a little crazy now that I know. I mean, if you just couldn't get it, it'd be one thing. But that same liquor store where I got the Weller, he sells Eagle Rare, always has it. It's $40. Um, that's that's more reasonable. I'll pay that. It's a little bit more than what MSRP is and more than what I'm able to get it for on occasion. But he has it and it's always there. So when you're looking on the websites, there's going to be some obvious overpricing of things if you kind of pay attention to what things are going for at your local liquor stores and you stay in contact and you double check some of these things. But you have to be careful of things that appear to be a good deal too. Uh, recently on the same website that I bought this item that I'll be unboxing at the end of this video for you, um, I found an Obon 14. I really like an Obon 14. It's a good scotch. Uh, they had it on sale from $89.99 to $79.99. Seemed like a really good price it, because I've seen it locally at uh, Safeway for $107.99 on the club member price, right? So I'm like, $79.99 seems like a really good cheap price. But if you've been watching my Instagram stuff, you'll notice that recently I did a walkthrough of finds on a whiskey spotting video at Costco, and they had Obon for a much more reasonable $62.99. So all of a sudden, $79.99 doesn't seem like a good price, even though it's on sale. Now, I said in the intro to the video that there are some exceptions to this rule. Like if you're a new guy, don't buy anything from online whiskey sellers. Get to know your local guys at your liquor stores, at your grocery stores. Just do some hunting, looking online and try and get a feel for what the prices on these things are. But if you know what you're looking for and you're looking regular, you can find some cool stuff. I actually found this Middleton Very Rare, uh, the Barry Crockett Legacy Edition on the same website that I got this unboxing item for, and they've got it for $199.99, okay? One, it's not that easy to find, and the only times that I've seen it here locally, they've really been asking big money for it. A quick Google search will show you that that same item is selling on different places, and I won't show you which ones they are because I don't want to put anybody on blast, but you can see here it's $344, $249, $399, a lot more expensive, which means if you want this bottle of Milton Very Rare, which I love Milton very well. I'm probably going to pick that one up. Don't tell my wife. Makes that $199 a really, really good price. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. The other thing, too, that I find valuable about online sellers is finding stuff that you just can't find. So here's a perfect example of that. 
I've been looking for the sample pack of Ardbeg. Okay, it's called uh, Monsters of Smoke. It's three little uh, bottles of some of their product to try and get an idea of what the Ardbeg offerings are like. I've been getting into Islas, but I have gotten some hit and miss on Isla Scotches, and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to invest in a whole bottle because recently I tried something I didn't like, and I'm glad I didn't buy a whole bottle of it. So I figured I'll get these little Ardbeg bottles and give me a chance to try three different things, right? Great, can't find it anywhere. Well, you can get it on this website. Got it for, I don't know, what seems like a fairly reasonable price, but the bottom line is they have it. I have no fun anywhere else. So maybe it makes sense for me if I really want to do that. I'm still not buying three bottles of Vardbeg. You could kind of justify it, but don't forget the shipping involved in it. And nowadays you're going to pay tax most places. Some places will work the tax into the price, but most places you got to think about sales tax and shipping on top of the price that you see. So it better be something that's worth it. Another example of being able to find things on websites that you can't find other places is, I'm gonna use this example of Westward. If you're not sure Westward Whiskey is, it is a whiskey producer in Portland. I've actually been there and checked out the tasting room. Very cool people, very cool product. Still a fairly young company. I think they got a lot of really cool things coming down the pipeline, doing some cool charitable stuff and just releasing some really solid product. So my total wine locally has their single malt. Uh, it's $62.99. It's basically the only thing that I've seen at their location on a regular basis. Solid product, but limited, right? So if you go to Westford's website, you can actually order from their website. So you can see they have the same single malt. It's just a little bit more, but they also have a lot of other offerings from them. They've got the stout, the Pinot Noir, the Women of Westward, some cath drink stuff, and some two packs or three packs or four packs, things that you're not gonna get at Total Wine at any price. So availability can be a big thing. So sometimes it's a win, sometimes it's a lose, just proceed cautiously. Now, I'm gonna tell you about what I got as one of those examples of something that you can't get anywhere else as a deal that actually popped up. So what's in the box? If you read the name of the video, you already know. So I don't know why I'm playing secret with it. So I ordered online and I'm gonna unbox this for you here in a minute and get some good shots of it because this is one of the coolest packages um, that I think is out there in whiskey right now, certainly in Irish. I'm a big fan of everything from Middleton. So, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm a sucker for it, but I love a cool packaging. I love a cool box. So. This is the Jameson 18 year Bow Street Edition. One, I don't see this anywhere. Two, when I do see it, they want crazy money for it. And I actually got this. So internetwines.com, and this is not a paid promotion. They don't know that I'm doing this. I'm just giving them a shout out because I got a smoking deal on this and I'm stoked. So internetwines.com had this for sale. They actually sent me a promotional email. It was $139.97. So I know that if my local liquor store had this, it'd probably be 250. I don't know, maybe, maybe more, who knows? They're kind of crazy with the secondary prices here in California. But I looked it up. If Total Wine did have this, it'd be $179. So 40 bucks cheaper. So that means that even with the shipping, I was able to get this for the same price as it would have cost me at my local Total Wine and they actually had it. So this is one of those instances where it makes all the sense in the world to buy this thing online. I am stoked to get this. This is supposed to be really good stuff. So let's unbox it. All right, I'm gonna break it out. Let's cut the, cut the tape off. And this might be kind of hard to see, so we'll get some better shots for you and integrate them into the video. Right, so packing slips, don't need that. Styrofoam peanuts are the worst possible thing in the world. Mark that down for a why not to buy stuff online. God, what a mess. All right. Pull it out of here. All right, so you've got uh, obviously a protective box on the outside. So the Jameson 18 Bow Street Edition, the reason that I wanted the Bow Street Edition and the reason I think this is special is the standard Jameson 18. It's obviously aged for 18 years, but it is the two things that are different about these. Uh, the Bow Street Edition is actually moved and aged for an additional six to 12 months. And most importantly, it is actually bottled at cask strength. And a lot of people don't know this, but it'd be easy to find if you look into it. But the Jameson 18 is actually cut down to, I believe, 80 proof, 90 proof. Don't quote me on that, but it's definitely not cast strength. So this is the cast strength version. 
and I am all about cast strength. So obviously you got a nice little protective bag uh, there for the box. Uh, the box is really, really cool. Uh, it's got some engraving on it that is, that is obviously supposed to be a map of part of Dublin um, in Cork County, Bow Street, um, where there is still some storage and they actually uh, age this that additional six to 12 months on Bow Street. Uh, there isn't room for a lot, of, a lot of barrels there. So this is supposed to be one of the more limited products. And I've got a bottle of uh, Middleton Very Rare in there and, and I'll do a comparison at some point because I think they're pretty comparable. But okay, so you got a little protector here. This is obviously this little slide is made out of copper. Uh, that is obviously supposed to be a the shout out to the, the copper pot stills uh, that, that these are made in. Um, I love when you get these bottles and they've got little inserts and they're, they're made out of wood. And this one actually has something special to it that I will show you if I can ever get the bottle out of the box. Okay, so I had to cut that. That was way too big of a problem. What the heck that's for? That's not going back in there. All right, so obviously, Got the beautiful bottle, uh, the green uh, Jameson label with the Bow Street, kind of embossed in a copper, uh, a little medallion hanging around the neck, and a nice engraved wooden cork. Beautiful bottle. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, 110, a little over 110 proof, 110.2 proof. Also, it comes with a coin in the bottom of the box, a copper coin, just kind of a cool little add on there from Jameson. And again, uh, I feel like I got this at a pretty good price. I'll be cracking this bad boy open and maybe doing a little talking about it. We'll see. But uh, thanks for coming and checking out the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that down below. I really use your support. Uh, check me out on Instagram at Whiskey Bonded. And uh, I'll be back to tell you guys what this tastes like. I can't wait. Cheers. So... I've mentioned a few different times.